See first the conditions that will be used as a lower cabinet or kitchen set. Measuring the outside is enough, it consists of only three sizes. 1. Size length, its size is 96 cm. 2. Measure height, its size 61 cm. 3. The size is wide, its size is 62 cm. This size is not the actual size, because a cement cabinet like this must have an uneven contour. Like the length in the size is 94 cm to 95 cm, the outer length was 96 cm. The solution is to reduce each side 3 cm to 5 cm is enough. The back is blocked by a protruding pipe, so the previous size of 62 cm for the width must be reduced by at least 5 cm to 7 cm. I am already confident in making a kitchen set, so I design it closer to the wall, but if you are a beginner it is recommended to reduce 3 cm to 5 cm. The floor is uneven because there is a pipe, so the height must be adjusted to 7 cm but the standard size of the kitchen set makers is up to 5 cm high. Given a middle retainer like this so that if the load is too excessive it will not make the wood bend. The cutting process is according to the calculated size. I cut the back cover in half so that it can be moved, for easier access to the pipe settings. Cut the bottom for easier access to the installation pipe. Tips for HPL glue with plywood is after the glue is evenly distributed, wait a few minutes until it is half dry for better adhesion.
adjust the size according to the video, it has a small door gap but does not hinder the wheel lane. The first try, have obstacles or not. Because here still has a gap on each side. So we make a frame. Don't forget to laminate it to make it look neat. Here is the most important part, using paper tape as a marker and the walls are not easily dirty. You can use any paint, the important thing is that it contrasts with the color of the plywood.
Beat gently so that the paint sticks to the plywood. It looks like there is a line or marker as a boundary between the plywood and the wall. Then adjust the back line to the outer frame, because it will be easier to cut the outer frame. If it's still not suitable, you can use coarse sandpaper or grid 80. Assembly of handles door handles I use leftover cold formed steel to reduce costs. I use cold form steel as a retainer or a back door line. Provided with restraints or wedges so as not to be pushed in too much when screwing.
adjusted to the width of the frame. Hold using 8mm and give fissure. Installation of screws is recommended at least 2 to 4 PCS to make it stronger and not easy to move. <laughs> 